Welcome back to this channel. Uh, my name is Mark. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a clinical laboratory technologist and I live in New York. Today I bring you five things you need to do in order to succeed as a clinical lab in the year of 2022. Let's get into it. Number one, if you do not have a license yet, you need to start working on your clinical laboratory technologies license. You need to work on your license due to the fact that uh, there will be sooner or later no job for those of you who doesn't have a license. So those of you who do not have a license yet, sooner or later you will not have a job. If you have a limited license or do not have a license, you need to start working your license. Remember, before you can get a license, you need to go uh, take your ASCP board certification exam so that you can become ASCP certified and before you can apply for any license. And uh, it's very important that you have your license due to the fact that things are changing, right? So, uh, laboratory technologies uh, getting a lot of attention okay so a lot of people have eyes on us due to the fact that we are the main money-making uh, you know instrument or agent in the hospitals or reference labs so companies are uh, insurance are paying a lot of money for lab tests the hospital are making good monies uh, for bringing new tests into the lab and uh, laboratory technologies is getting a lot of attention and the hospitals or reference labs are paying good money so that they can hire clinical laboratory technologies right now so if you do not have a license so, so, soon or later and you will be excluded from the crowd okay so you need to have a license and one thing i i, I realized now in the year 2022 uh, all the hospitals that close microbiology departments, you know, they used to send those uh, tests away. So what now what what they doing, they bringing instrument to the core lab. They bringing new instrument that perform uh, flu, RSV, COVID-19 testing and other tests to core lab. Now chemistry and immunology department are perform, right, those tests and the core lab, instead of them reopen my code and they bring it to the core lab, more work for chemistry department and, 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 and hematology department, but hey, more work, more money. So basically, uh, they paying uh, good money for lab techs. So basically they bring in more tests into the lab because they don't wanna miss out. So basically if they used to send those tests, they pay for them out. They, now there's a high demand for COVID-19 testing and other tests then why send it out so bring it to the lab and make the money themselves yes that's what they're doing right now and i feel like if you do not have a license soon you will be out and uh, number two things you need to do in the year 2022 in order to make it to make it so if you do not, if you're not making enough money because you live in a low pay state, you need to move right now, right now. You need to pack your bag and move, okay? Uh, if you're not making money because you live in a low pay state, you need to look somewhere else. So you need to start planning for your life, planning for your family. You need to have your clinical laboratory license and look for high paying states. High paying state most likely, uh, you know, have, uh, you know, more expenses. Things are rent or other stuff are uh, uh, more expensive, but you have a chance to make more money at the same time. So now when you go, you balance between expenses and money that you're making, then try to see if there's a difference and extra dollar left in your hands. So basically, if it cancel out, then there's no need for you to move. But if you... Uh, weigh your expenses and compare to what you're making you know and I believe uh, you if you live within your mean and basically you can make uh, extra cash by moving to a new state 
Remember, number two, you need to pack your bag and look for high paying stick right now. And uh, number three things you need to do, you need to look into traveling. If you're single, you don't have obligation, you're stuck in one place, then and you're not making money, then don't stack in one place. You need to move right now. Look for traveling opportunities. Travelers are making extra money than the local uh, clinical laboratory, like tech, uh, clinical laboratory technologies, due to the fact that uh, travelers, agencies are paying uh, extra cash or incentives so that they can attract people to travel, you know, have more experience, uh, uh, different experiences outside. Uh, where you live, things like that, you know, and perform a job at the same time. There's so many advantages of uh, to become a clinical lab traveler. So I have a video about traveling clinical laboratory technologies. You can look, uh, uh, watch this video, and you will have a lot of information about it. But basically, if you single or you have time, and you know, look for travel traveling uh, uh, clinical lab and you will make a lot more money by traveling and incentives you no know, basically rent paying you know uh, mileage stuff and all of other stuff so look into it google stuff and you know look into traveler traveling agencies and find out what you can make uh, as a traveler and uh, number four four things you need to do in 2000 2022 you need to set up your investment account so basically if you're making extra cash then you paying uh, you know all those tax uh, to Uncle Sam then there's no need you need to start working on your investment account if you do not have a 401k 403b you need to do it now now before I continue with that video I'm not uh, a CPA I'm not an investment advisor you do not have to listen to me about investment. So I've just brushed it and put it in that video. So you don't have to do anything that I just say because I'm not a professional. If you need professional advice, then you have to look for it somewhere else. But I'm advising you right now, not a professional advice. And I'm just saying, as a random guy on YouTube, so if you do not set up your 401k, 403b, Wolf IRA, you need to do that right now so that you do not have to spend those extra cash paying taxes. You can have those money invest and then pay IRS this tax later. So basically you have this money working for you, you keep the, uh, uh, you know, all the earnings and then pay the tax later. So that's what you do. Invest the money instead of paying the tax now, uh, pay the tax later. Invest them now. For it will be for 1K of IRA and I have a couple of videos about those stuff once you set them up and uh, you can look for them and uh, fifth five and final things you need to do right now you need to set goals I have a video on setting goals so you can go and look for it you need to set goals as a clinical lab if you do not have goals then you're not succeed you're not gonna go nowhere so not only 10 year goals you need uh daily goals why you need those is because uh you know while you're setting your yearly goals and then you work on your daily goals so basically while you're achieving your daily goals you feel like you're working toward your yearly goals and while you're achieving your yearly goals you feel like you're working toward your 10 years goals so basically you need to start setting goals see what you want see what you uh, want to do in one year where you want to be in two years, where you want to be in three years. If you're planning to have a family, you gotta work about a, you know, a family, start saving about it, you know. Think about what you want to do in the next one, two, three, four, five years, and that will set you apart from the regular laboratory technologies, where, uh, you know, to a professional and a well-planned, uh, family-oriented uh, gentleman. So if you like those videos, Remember to give them a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And this any any topic that you would like uh, me to talk about, to cover, you know, remember you can send me a message and I'll be happy to talk about it. Thanks.